Hi guys, how you all doing? Today we're going to make a very, very simple recipe. Now I live in a country where self-raising or self-rising flour is not readily available, but it is so simple to make. It's only three ingredients if you make self-rising and two ingredients if you make self-raising. Now the difference between self-raising and self-rising, self-raising is the UK version, which is flour and baking powder, and self-rising flour is the American version, which is flour, baking powder, and salt. So let's show you how to make one kilo of self-raising flour and one kilo of self-rising flour. It's so simple, let's do it. Okay guys, this is a real watching the paint dry video, but it does explain the difference between self-raising and self-rising. So, we need to sieve one kilo of all-purpose flour. Now, sieving it obviously makes it a bit lighter. And then we need to weigh out 45 grams of baking powder. And 10 grams of salt. And we will add this to our flour. Give it a stir. Give it a mix. Whichever you prefer. We'll put it in a bag and we'll give it a good shake. So putting it in a bag is easier to actually mix all this together. So put it in a bag and give it the old shaky shaky. And that's our self-rising flour made. Okay, same again then, but what we'll do, we'll start with the baking powder and we'll weigh out 58 grams of baking powder and then we'll take a kilo bag of flour and we'll start to sieve it and mix in the baking powder. Now I did say this video was like watching paint dry. Well, you've got to sieve it to make it light and airy. Mix it all in, put it in a bag and give it the old shaky shaky. And that's our self-raising flour made. And then we just need to label it up, raising or rising, and that's our flour done. And there we are guys, as quick and simple as it can possibly be. Now, is that rise or is that raise? No worries, I've written on the bag. This is self-rising and this is self-raising. This contains salt, this contains no salt. American version, UK version. Both do the same jobs, but the UK version carries a little bit more baking powder. If push comes to shove, put the same amount of baking powder in the same amount of flour and either add the salt or omit the salt. It'll do the same job. 
So that is quick and easy how to make self-rising or self-raising flour for your recipes. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. And to make some biscuits.